Hi, I'm Iris Fritz and I'm with Dunwoody College of Technology. I'm a math instructor here and I'm also, way back when, was a hat maker. That you know from the very first video I went through with you. So right now, this being the third installment of Understanding the Circle, I want to talk to you about radian measure versus degree measure and how they mean exactly the same thing. Two different ways to measure the same thing. Now in our first video, let's just talk a little bit about what you were introduced to. I introduced you to the radius. And the radius is half of the diameter. It measures from the center to the outer edge. And it's also a way that we actually start to introduce what we later refer to as radian measure, measuring with the radius. So if you look at the word, the first part of this word radian starts with radius or radii which is mean, meaning that we're talking about measurement using the radius. Now, there are two different ways to measure a circle and the distance around it. You know that the distance around the circle, meaning I'm walking around it, is measured and called circumference. So circumference is indeed equal to 2 times pi times r. And I showed you where that came from. I also taught you in that first video where pi came from. <clears throat> The other thing I want you to notice is there's another way to measure, if you will, walking around this circle. And now I'm just going to strictly talk about it as the distance. And that's by standing in the center, and it's as if I put my hand out, and starting to look at angular change, what's called angular change. And if I do that, measuring the distance, if you will, around the circle can be also communicated in degrees. So you probably heard that a circle has a total of 360 degrees. Well, what they're talking about is if I you know, pretend that this is the length of the radius. And if I take this and I measure the distance around the circle, which is circumference, I can also measure it by seeing the change in the angle and measuring it as 360 degrees. So another way to look at circumference is a total of 360 degrees. Two different ways to measure the same thing. There are times when we want to look at degree measure to get, help us get work done in math. There are other times when we strictly want to look at the radian measure, using the radius to help us understand something in math. So with that, let's look at other ways we need to start to cut up the circle and understand it. And probably the most common thing that starts to happen is, uh, I'm going to draw a better circle than that. That's going to make me crazy. You don't want to see me crazy. There we go, that's a little better. So radian measure, I want you to notice, means exactly the same thing as degree measure. In fact, just two different ways to reference information about exactly the same thing. Now, a lot of times you'll find that when you're first introduced to this, they're going to cut the circle up into fourths. So let's, you and I do that right now. The measurement, if I cut this circle in half, this of course being the length from here to here is the radius. But let's strictly talk about now circumference, walking all the way around this. So from here to here, I've gone half of the circumference. And circumference, cut in half, circumference, and just half of that, is pi r. So right here at this point, I am measuring pi r, or what we call radian measure, using the radius. So this is pi r in length from here to here. And then talking about degree measure, which was more of this angular change going from here to here, I have half of 360, which is 180 degrees. So if you will, we can see from this that pi r, in measuring it with radius measure, means exactly the same thing as 180 degrees, right here. Now we also take that circle and we start to cut it up into four. So here it's cut into half, and I've given you this measurement. And now let's go ahead, and I'm just going to erase this line to continue our conversation. And I'm going to look at the measure 
between, right in half here, between, if you will, where I started to the 180 degree mark. So if I'm cutting this in half, pi r now is halved. And that's the radian measure for a quarter of your circle. Also, look at the 180 degrees. If from here to here is 180 degrees, half of that would be 90 degrees. So two different ways to say the same thing. Either you can measure it in radian measure as pi r over 2, or it means the same thing as 90 degrees. Now, let's keep going. This point right here I want to measure. Remember, we're reflecting this back into circumference again. So, walking from here to here, I have 1 pi r over 2. I have 2 pi r's over 2, which simplify into pi r. Coming down here, I have 3 pi r's over 2. 3 pi r over 2, which is the radian measure. If I'm talking in degree measure, I have 90 degrees plus 90 degrees is 180 plus 90 degrees is 270 degrees. So two different ways to say the same thing. And now let's finish it out. So let's keep counting. I have pi r over 2. I have 2 pi r over 2. It cleans up like this. I have 3 pi r over 2, as, as is. I have 4 pi r over 2, or clean it up. Going completely around the circle, that cancels, and you have 2 pi r, which should make sense. Isn't that circumference? So walking completely around this brings me back to where I started, and I have 2 pi r right here. Now what would it be in degree measure? I think you can think this one out. I have 90 degrees plus 90 is 180 plus 90 is 270 and all the way back to 360. 360 going all the way around the circle. And it's funny because I think I told you in my first video that I was a hat maker. I actually used to be a street artist in town. And so I was, I was a clothing designer and I had a whole big hat line. And I didn't know how to measure circles. I mean, this is what I had to use to make hats. And when I found out that I could start to measure in a much bigger way and it's about keeping it simple, oh man, I actually started making some money but then math became so much fun I ended up doing this. So, hopefully that gets you to understand radian and degree measure. But what I really want to do is show you how it relates to something called the sine wave. So let's look at that. So, let's use what we know and apply it to something else that we're trying to learn. Let me take a circle and talk to you about what we've got. Here's a circle, okay? So going around the circle, you just learned, was a total of 360 degrees or 2 pi r if I'm measuring with radian measure. Now, if I take a circle and I take my circle, I cut it in half and I rotate the bottom half, won't I get something that looks like this? So I'm going to take my circle and all I'm doing is changing how it looks but not what it means. I would have an object that looks like that where there's the top half of the circle and then Here's the bottom half, and yeah, it's not perfect, but you know, we have a good imagination, so we can fill that in. So I would have a shape that changes how it looks, but not what it means into something like that. But let's talk about measuring it. This measurement, walking from here to here, is exactly the same length as something called circumference. It's the same length. And what's circumference? 2 pi r. So the length of this from here to here is 2 pi r in length. It's just circumference. And that's called radian measure of a sine wave. Welcome to what a sine wave looks like. You'll be seeing these. They're really fun. <laughs> they will be. Okay, now what's half of a half? What's the halfway mark? 
So two different ways to talk about this. Let's also write down our degree. So this is 2 pi r in length, circumference, or another way of looking at it is 360 degrees. Okay? Now, the halfway mark is what? 2 pi r, 2 pi r, cut in half, cleans up to giving me the halfway mark. It's just pi r, isn't it? And that's the radian measure. What's half of 360? 180. That's the degree measure. They mean the same. Two different ways to say the same thing. Coming up here, half of pi r is right up here. And half of pi r is written this way. That's half of pi r, pi r cut in half. Down below, what's half of 180? 90 degrees. So these are two different ways to say the same thing. One in radian measure, one in degree measure. Now, this is the one that we've got to walk to, if you will, and think out. So let's do it. Let's first do the degrees. 90 degrees plus 90 degrees is 180, plus 90 more is 270 degrees. Let's now talk radian measure. I have 1 pi r over 2. I have 2 pi r's over 2 cleans up like this. I have 3 pi r's over 2. 3 pi r's over 2. I have 4 pi r's over 2. And 4 pi r over 2 is the same as 2 pi r. And that is quarter measure of a sine wave. And it lets you have good footing into what then becomes a lot of work taking degree measure and converting it into radian measure and radian measure back into degree measure. And that will be the next video. So keep your eyes open for that because I'll teach you that in a very nice user-friendly way. Thanks for joining us.